This is a quick tip video on how to use the cloud-based Thin Supervisor client application. Once you've chosen to move from the hard installed desktop application of the Thick Client Supervisor to the web-based Thin Client Supervisor, you'll be able to log on on any web-enabled device using any form of web browser. Once you log on to the URL for the supervisor client, enter your username and password. Once you've entered your username and password, you can sign in to the system and have the system save your username and password and remember you on sign on. You can choose to stay signed in and go ahead and sign on, or you could select some options to remember your authentication. Once you logged into the system, you'll automatically see your manage screen. On this screen, you can see your co call console, your contacts, as well as queued calls in the system. As you see on the left, that is your call console. You can look at call history, make outgoing calls, also have conference calls, as well as answer incoming calls. In this section here, if there's an outbound caller ID and you are also an agent associated with the system, you can choose to dial out using this outbound caller ID. Once you've selected that outbound caller ID, you can enter into here a telephone number of a party you'd reach to call. Once you hit that number, you can click on the dial button. The call will appear here at the end. You could choose to hold or end the call. You could transfer the call as well. Choose to redial it while you're on the call. But I'm going to end the call here. This is a, now in your call, call console. The caller ID of the other caller will see the caller ID I selected. By choosing none in the caller ID, my DID or the main company phone number will appear on the customer's caller ID. You can also view call trace as well. You can trace the last call and this will generate a report out to your system administrator. You could also look at call history and you could also sort your calls by call from or none. This right here is call disposition code. What call disposition code allows you to do is tag a previous place call in the system. This happens when this code appears up here when you're in the wrap up state or while you're on a current incoming ACD call. As a supervisor, you'd want to manage your agents. As you can see in the contact list here, as you can see in the contact list here, you have search options where you could search for a particular name or phone numbers and in what directories to begin looking. You also have the option to X this out. You also have your enterprise, anybody that's within your enterprise network or your account. You can also choose to X this as well. You have your personal setup here. All you do is click your settings tab here. And once you click settings, you can add or delete any personal contacts. You can also X out this option here in your contact list. I'm gonna come back to agents in a little while. You also have your speed dials where you can also add or delete any speed dials into the system. You could pick a code, a phone number, an extension or a voicemail, and then you enter a description.
you click add or you can click delete. In the speed dial, you can also X out so you don't have to see it all on your contact list. This will show you all the cues that you're able to supervise in the system and all the cues available in the enterprise. You could choose to call a queue, silent monitor a next call on the queue if you choose so. You could also X out the queue so this isn't available in your system. You also have your full directory that gives you enterprise, personal, speed dial, or you could do show all. This is unable to be X'd out, so you could minimize it by clicking on the little green arrow here to the left. Now we're going to focus on agents. As you can see here in the left arrow menu, I can close the agents and expand the agents. I want to look at all agents, so I click on the little pencil. When you click on the pencil, you could choose to see all agents in all call centers or just specific agents. By clicking on the agent, the agent will automatically be pulled if they are in multiple queues. I'm going to look at all agents in all call centers. And then you click save. You have a maximum of 50 agents that you're able to view in your monitored agent screen. Once you click save, you'll be able to see all the status changes of your agents that are being monitored. If you look here, you can see that this agent is signed out and they're in a red status. This agent is in an available status. And this agent as well is in a signed out status. You can see it by the colors to the left as well as the description to the right. When you expand an agent, you can see if you can silent monitor their next call. By hovering over each of the options, it'll give you exactly what you're looking at. So with this agent, this agent signed off. If I choose to monitor the agent's next call, it'll be a true silent monitor. All I would do is select this option here, and then I can go over here to the agent state and change the agent state. Right now they're signed out. I want to put this agent in an available status. I can also call this ex I can also call this agent by their full phone number or by their extension. If there's only an extension available, the extension option will show. If they do have a DID, the call option will show. Once you've changed the agent state, once again, you can put them in any available status. You can see that this agent is in an unavailable state or is in signed out state. I want to put them in unavailable because they're in training. Their status will still remain red because they're unable to answer a call on the phone, but you can see up here what their current state is in. They're unavailable because they're in training. So you can see a visible view of why your current agents are in an unavailable state. Put the agent back in available, you'll see their status change again. As you can see, there's a call coming into your queues over here on the right. You can see when it's ringing to the agent while their phone status goes into a yellow, that means that they're ringing or a phone's ringing to their queue. If you are also set up as an agent, you will see the call control over here in the call console. As you can see with the supervisor status that I'm signed in on, you can see that the call was going into that supervisor and appearing in the call console. You can also see when the call is reaching and how many seconds it's been waiting for the agent. If you select that caller, you can retrieve the call yourself as a supervisor. If there was other calls waiting in the queue, you could reprioritize or transfer the call out. You could silent monitor 
If an agent decides to pick up a call, you can silent monitor that agent's call through here. Since this call is ringing in the queue, you can select to retrieve the call. So if you retrieve the call, you can start answering all the phone calls within there. So if I choose to answer, to retrieve this call, the call will ring to me. I will answer it here. I have the option to put a hold on the call or trace the call or end the call. As you can see here, you can do a barge. A barge in requires you to actually put the phone on mute or the customer and agent will hear you. It appears as a conference call to both you and the agent once you decide to barge in. See here, it's a barged in. It's an incoming call. The agent, both and the customer can hear you. You can end the call on both ends. If you are set up as an agent as well as a supervisor, you can change your ACD status up here. If you're required to have unavailable codes, you would select it in your unavailable codes. As you can see, my status changes here and I change here as well. Once all the calls in the system, once all the agents in the system are ready to handle calls again, you can select to call the agent. It'll appear here in your call console that it's making an outbound call to this specific agent. You can end the call and silent monitor or change the agent state. Now that this agent is currently on an incoming call, as you can see here, this agent is talking to this caller. I can choose silent monitor the agent. It'll appear over here on this side. As it looks here, you'll see that the call will go into a conference set here. I have the option to barge into the call if I see that the agent needs help, hold the call, or leave leave the silent monitoring session. I'm going to leave the silent monitoring session from this point. Now you would see that the call console here would appear up top and then it would disappear. You could always choose again to silent monitor the agent or barge in as well again. Now when we look over here at your queued calls, you can see that this, this, queued, this queue has a voicemail in the system. As you can see in this queue, they're in a normal service mode, meaning that this queue also has a night service. So by selecting that, option, you can go into the night service mode. Once you click on that option to see if the system is a night service or a normal business service, if you have permissions by your administrator to do a night service override, this is the window that pops up once you select that option here under your queues. You can override night service, force forward, as well as monitor selected cues that you wish to monitor selected cues that you wish to see. Another view that you can use within the supervisor web client is the dashboard. By clicking this up here, another window will populate that you can have up on another screen or in a separate window altogether. Once the dashboard window pops up, this is very similar to the thick client desktop application that you currently have. What you can view here is all your queues on the top, and then you can view your agents at the bottom. All you'd have to do to view your agents is select show agents. 
All the agents associated with those queues will appear down here. You can sort in ascending or descending order on any of the column selections up top. The same goes for your agents. If you scroll over, if you look at their names, you can expand. You can see the number of cues that this agent's in, and by clicking on them, you can actually see the cues that they're associated with. You can see all the sign-in time, durations, in sign-in, their call time state, as well as their agent state. As you can see here, it's another way of viewing and monitoring your agents. You could use this screen to monitor your agents and use your supervisor management screen to actually manage your agents' activities and your queues. You have two separate screens that could be up both at the same time. Another feature of the web-enabled client is the CCRS reports. This is the current same reports that you receive with your thick client. By clicking on the CCRS reporting, that is your call center real-time server reports, this will bring up the CCRS servers as well as the reports that you can run. You have agent activity reporting, agent utilization, queue performance, and call center service level report. For more information on reporting, please view our reporting guide that's provided to you by your technology advisor or you can request a copy from our NSOC review it online on our website. When you sign out of the system by clicking this option up here for sign out, the system will ask you if you'd want to save your workspace. By saving your workspace, you don't have to worry about the queues that you're monitoring or the agents that you chose to monitor or any of the contact options that you X'd out. Saving your workspace will eliminate the need to have to do this each and every time you log into the system.